Hey guys, got a little story. So my little gas getter car, the transmission broke down on me yesterday after work. We're talking an $800 car, not a big deal. Pulled it over, had a buddy drag me to an entrance of a cornfield out in the middle of the river bottoms near my work. I figured it'd be either okay overnight until morning. I'd drag it to the shop with another truck. I took my Milwaukee Impact out of it and my small work backpack, which had my firearm, and the rest of the stuff I figured it'd be okay. There was a fish and tackle bag, a small toolbox, and my bug out bag. I had an old hoodie laying in the back so I threw it over my equipment figured that it covered up enough nobody messed with it it's out, you know not way out in the middle of nowhere but off the beaten path you know not a lot of traffic it was a Thursday night figured it'd be all right well on the morning drive coming in with my truck I happened to notice somebody broke the window out now we're back at my shop now with it. We drug it back this morning. They didn't mess with the front. They didn't unlock any of the doors. They broke out the side window and reached in, moved the hoodie, grabbed the toolbox, grabbed the bug out bag after they uncovered it. Didn't take my hammer or my jumper cables. Didn't take my big catfishing rod or my folding chair. It just sucks. Because all the little tools that I have to buy now, small sockets and whatnot, and then my bug out bag, my rain gear, flashlight, all the little nickel and dime. There was about, I don't know, $50 in cash. So, apparently, you can't even leave something sitting in the country overnight for one day. Things are getting worse, guys. Watch your back.